I'm so sorry what happened to you. Uh, you you walked right in on these guys inside your home, right? I did. I had left my home to go get myself some lunch, and I had forgotten my debit card, which was the reason that brought me back within 10 minutes, or else I would not have come back. And I walked in to my home and was immediately pushed down to the ground and attacked. And they just kept hitting me and attacking me until I couldn't get up. Here they are leaving with your dog. At this point, I, I can't believe you're even conscious at that point, but you were aware that they were taking the dog, right? In the middle of the assault, I got a glimpse of the second man holding my French bulldog. And so that's how I knew that they had her. And I did yell out, please, please, please don't take my dog. And they just kept saying, shut up and kept calling me names and hitting me. You had dog under one arm and hitting you in the face with a gun? Yes, the man that had Milani is the one who was hitting me with a gun. And he had come up as basically help because I was fighting the first man back. And did you walk the dog and take the I mean, is that how they knew you had the dog? No, I actually never walk my Frenchies. So the only way they would have known is through social media. They were posted on Instagram. OK. And now, the dog that you, that, that they got away with, um, Milani, how much is that dog worth? I know it's priceless to you, but to the thieves, they would steal the dog because it's worth thousands of dollars, correct? Yes, she's worth between seven and $10,000 because of her markings are extremely rare. Was she also pregnant? She was. This was her first litter, and that was also something that I had posted on Instagram, and so I have a feeling that somebody saw that and took advantage of the situation. You had a second Frenchie, Mac, right? And and this dog uh, got frightened and hid under the bed. They did not find him that day. OK, and tell us what happened with Mac. Um, about two weeks after the attack, he suddenly got uh, ill. And I took him to the vet, and they couldn't figure out why he was feeling sick. A few days later, I had him on a drive with me, and he had a heart attack in my lap. So they think it was brought on by the stress of what happened that day? Yes, because he had regular vet appointments, and they had never detected any issues with his heart before now. Mm -hmm. And he was only a year and a half. Right. So out, out of this, you lost both of your dogs. Yeah. Hopefully, somebody will notice this, see this, if, even if somebody buys the dog unknowingly or somebody sees somebody walking around with this dog, somebody will uh, alert the authorities and in some way get it back to you. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping at this point. That's my last, my last option. I've well, tried a private investigator, and that didn't go anywhere either. What's your advice to people that have high-priced dogs at this point? Would you post online about them again? No. I would not be posting about them on social media right now. I'm seeing it every single day, and I just, I just want to message every person and say, please just keep them close to you and your family and keep them safe, because right now people see them and they just see dollar signs. There really is nothing else to it. If you're out there and you're listening to this and somebody tries to sell you this amazing dog, look at this picture, look at this dog. And if somebody's trying to sell you this dog for $5,000, you know, here's a great deal. Really, you got to think twice about what's going on. And if, if you're buying a dog like this, underpriced, and from somebody that um, doesn't seem like a breeder, doesn't seem like someone that would have this kind of dog, you got to really think twice about it. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.